Can you tell me a little bit about what you've learned about uh, Devontae Downs uh, the past month? Yeah, no, it's kind of a funny story. Uh, my wife's brother played with him in college. So kind of got a uh, early kind of um, synopsis of him, just personality-wise, knew that he was a great guy. Um, but football-wise, he's just kind of shown up every single day, um, whatever it is, uh, run, pass, blitzing. Um, Communication-wise, it's just been so it's just been awesome to kind of work with them throughout this camp. Earlier in, uh, in training camp, you had talked about trying to learn this defense, trying to become the guy that was, you know, really kind of the calming factor, for, you know, for the group. Where are you in that process, you think, and, and how comfortable are you, you know, entering week one? No, I feel uh, really comfortable kind of moving in this week. Pat's done a great job installing – um, throughout training camp and just all the stuff we've put in this week um, to get ready for the game on Monday. Uh, it's made it pretty easy to be that calm, cooling factor for the for the group. And obviously, there's some guys starting for the first time. Um, so it's going to be a, a big component for me to be able to do that for the game. Joe Judge was talking yesterday. You know, we were asking him about game planning for game week. And uh, a lot of attention always goes to you know, how much does the quarterback get involved? And he made a point that he wants to be really in sync with all of his signal callers. And he included you, obviously, uh, and then across the board for, for special teams. But I'm just curious for you on game week, is that something new for you that you would kind of be involved, that, that the coaches would bounce ideas off of you, what you like, what you don't like? Um, and I'm just curious what that's process has been like for you with Pat and obviously Joe? No, yeah. Uh, so I had Pat my third year, as you guys know. Um, he kind of brought that to the system I was in previous. Um, so I kind of got used to it, uh, having kind of meetings and things like that to kind of go over um, anything that's confusing um, or anything that's doing really well, just random feedback and stuff like that. So I've been used to it. Um, and it's just been awesome to kind of have, obviously, moving forward and keeping that going. Is it an interesting situation going into week one where this is really the first time and I'd imagine week four you kind of have a better idea of what you have a good handle on as a group, what you don't. Now you're going into week one. I mean, what was that conversation like? I mean, you kind of break out your list and say, all right, here's what I think from three weeks ago kind of thing. No, yeah, I think that's the tough part right now. Um, obviously, we don't have preseason. Normally, you can kind of get little things here and there um, just off what guys are doing, at least this year. Um, but – yeah, going into this, it was kind of like Joe Judge has always kind of said, is these first four weeks is all fundamentals and situational football. Um, so at that point, it's just focusing on what we can control um, and what we can do every given play and execute it as much as we can. What did you think of the energy at today's practice? It seemed like Joe kind of huddled you guys up and almost made you start over. Is, is that kind of how it went down? Uh, yeah, it was one of those moments where um, we just didn't come out the right way and we need to kind of refocus and get things going again. Um, and we did that and uh, we had to bounce back and kind of show our resolve um, and our kind of ability to adapt um, and kind of as a team understand what we're doing wrong and, and come back and, and fix it. How rare is that? I mean, have you ever been at a practice in the NFL where you had to kind of reboot? <laughs> uh no yeah no, that was the that was definitely the first time um but it was it was really cool how kind of everybody um took it in a positive way uh wasn't kind of like ah here we go like why are we doing this it was just like hey this is what we need to fix we need to make sure we get this right um because i think we all understand uh how big this first week is to kind of set a statement um for ourselves as a team on what we want to be uh moving throughout the season What's it like playing for a head coach who is in his first season? What have you gotten from him? What do you think that he's tried to um, relay to you guys as a team? Yeah, I think, I mean, ever since the first time that I've had a, a team meeting with Coach Judge, um, been in the same room as Coach Judge, whether it's Zoom or – um, actually, in our facilities, it's it, to me, it's never seemed like he's a first year head coach. Um, every single day has come with certain things, fundamental wise, um, situational, 
just every position he's able to coach um, individually as a group. Um, and you feel like he just knows so much about football. Um, and I think that's the biggest thing that I've, I've gotten from this is I've gotten so much better as a player in this past month of training camp than I ever have just in the ability to understand why we're doing certain drills, how it's going to uh, incorporate in the game. Um, and then just overall uh, as a player, just my awareness uh, every given down, whether it's first, second, third down um, to know what's coming um, and what to expect. Hi, Leonard. Hey, Blake. Sorry if you got asked this already. I was uh, a little bit late. Are you healthy? Um, is this injury that you've been dealing with going to prevent you from playing on Monday? How are you feeling going into the game? Uh, I mean, I feel good. Uh, practice today, so just keep taking it uh, one day at a time and getting ready for Monday. Um, I was curious, um, given the fact that, you know, Joe Judge has never been a head coach before, is there anything that surprised you? about him, working with him for the first time, and just kind of what stood out? Yeah, I think the biggest, I'd say, surprise for me was, obviously, like you said, first-year head coach. Um, you kind of wonder how they're going to be, if they're going to be a, try to be something different, um, change things up all the time, whatever you want to say, just all over the place. Uh, but he never was. It was always, hey, this is how I'm going to be every single day. Um, there was no switching up. It wasn't, all right, if you're – the star player or your undrafted free agent, he was the same way to every single person. If you're doing it wrong, you knew you were doing it wrong, and he was going to tell you in front of everybody, um, no matter what your status was. And I think that was a big surprise to me, and it was, it was awesome to have because um, it just shows how he wants the team from top to bottom to be.